And Ascara was from the tribe of Jacob. Now she lived in Shema, located southeast of Mount Carmel. This woman was known for her great hospitality. What's her name? <laughs> Come on. Ah, she loved God and was blessed with an astute judge of character. She was, she was kind and gentle to everyone that she came in contact with. She knew no strangers. And she had a passion for hospitality. What's her name? <laughs> Believers believe that hospitality is a sacred duty. And in Romans 12, 13, it shares with the, it shares with the Lord's people who are in need, share with them, practice hospitality. This is something that we should do from our heart. And I know when you came in here this morning, you felt hospitality. Okay, now, this woman entertained many strangers with a passion, but there came to Shunem, Elijah, a man who she found herself asking, please, please come and stay with us. Come and allow us to comfort you. So Elijah went to her home and began to come frequently each time he came through Shuna. Have you guessed her name yet? There was something special about this man, so she says this in her spirit. The, sh the woman told her husband, I perceive that this is a holy man of God which passes us by continuously. Let us make a room from him. Let us make the chamber with a bed, uh, books, light, candlelight. And the husband agreed. The holy man of God was so pleased with the hospitality shown him each time he passed through Shunem, that he wanted to do something special for her. And so he asked his servant, what could we do for her? What is it that we can do? Because she is so generous. She, every time we come, she fill our bellies. We, we can relax and Sleep well and go and continue on our journey. What can we do? And so when he spoke to her, he asked her the same thing. And you know what she said? Oh, it's nothing you can do for me. I have everything I need. Come on. I don't want anything from you, and I live among my own people. Anybody know her name yet? Or what they called her. There you go. That's that's it. But one of the things that I um, admired about her was that hospitality. And that's something that we all must have as saints of God. We have to demonstrate hospitality, and it always starts with ushers in the church. But it also is for each and every one of us that we demonstrate that hospitality 
to anyone that walks in our church or in our home or wherever it, that might be. That is the Christian way. But the other thing that I like, we know what Elijah did for her. She didn't want anything. She didn't, she didn't want anyone to know what she had done. She did it from her heart because she had the love of God. And when Elijah saw this, he just wanted to help her, give her something that she didn't have. And he did prophesy to her, we know that. And then she did have that child, we know that, right? But one other thing she did was, when that child became 11 years old, that child laid on his mom's lap and died. He had a sunstroke. She politely picked up her child, took him to Elijah's room, laid him on Elijah's bed. She didn't announce that he was dead. She went to her husband and she said to him, I must go see the man of God. And when she said that, her husband said, but why? It's not time. She said, I'll be back. She didn't tell her husband. She said, I need, she took one servant and they had a donkey. And she told that servant, go as fast as you can and don't stop for going. Just keep going into, because I must see this holy man, Elijah. She just said, the man of God. So they traveled and they traveled and then Elijah saw her from afar and he told his servant he said go and see what's going on what's wrong something is wrong and so the servant went out and he said is all well with you is all well with your husband is all well with your son and you know what she said? All is well. Mm -hmm. All is well because she had the faith and the confidence that it was already done. Yeah. That's what I like about this. Her faith, she had great faith. She was righteous. She, she, they said she was noble, so that means she was righteous. And her faith got her what she wanted. I'm trying to make a long story short. When Elijah came and did what he did, we all know that part, she already knew it was going to be. That's the kind of faith she had. And she had a name. And oh, how he walks with me. And oh, how he talks with me. 